All right, so in this example, we're given another parametric, a set of parametric equations, and we're asked to find the exact length of the curve over this interval. Okay, so it says exact. So now we, we can set up our integral. We could solve it on our calculator and get a decimal approx approximation, but to get the exact answer, we've got to actually do the integral on this one. Um, so setting up is just pretty plug and chug, right? You just So we're going to do um, the derivative of x with respect to t, and that gives me, oops, with respect to t, gives me 6t, right? So the derivative of 0, or 0, blah, the derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of 3t squared is 6t. All right, and then we have dy dt, oops, dy dt is just going to be 6t squared. All right, and then we can just plug it into our integral. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root. So we square dx dt, and we get 36t squared. And then we add the derivative of y squared, dy dt squared, so we get 36t um, to the fourth. And then that's dt. Now, notice we can... Um, we can actually, uh, we have 36, which is a perfect square, and then we have t squared, which is a perfect square, so we can actually pull the 36 t squared out, so we can factor one of those out, because both of these terms have a, a factor of 36, and they both have a factor of t squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as um, 6 t, right, the square root of 36 t squared is 6 t, and then what I have left in the integral is 1 um, plus t squared. All right, dt. All right, so that looks solvable, right? Because I can see there's an inside function. If I, if I take the derivative of 1 uh, plus t squared, I get 2t, which looks a lot like two, like 6t. So let's try a substitution on this one. So I am going to say, let's let w equal 1 plus t squared. So then dw is equal to 2t dt. But I really want... 6t dt. So let's multiply both sides by 3. So 3 dw equals 6t dt. All right, we'll make that substitution. Um, now I can also ch transform the limits of integration again because it's a definite integral. So let's go ahead and do that too. So when, um, when t equals uh, 0, then w equals 1. And when t equals 1, then w equals 2. So I'm just plugging that into my equation for w and getting those values. So this is equivalent to the integral from 1 to 2 of the square root of w times 3 dw. And that's pretty easy to integrate, right? So um, I'm just going to pull the 3 out front, and then the integral of the square root of w is 2 thirds w to the 3 halves, and we're going to evaluate that from 1 to 2, because I've transformed the limits of integration. All right, well, so if I pull the 2 thirds out, and I take 2 thirds times 3, what I end up with is 2, and then I'm going to evaluate w to the 3 halves at 2, so I get 2 to the uh, 3 halves, and then minus 1 to the 3 halves, okay? 1 to the 3 halves is 1, 2 um, to the 3 halves is really 2 times the square root of 3, so what I have is um, 2 times 2 square root, sorry, 2 square root 2 <laughs> minus uh, 1. Okay, now I could leave it like that, and that's perfectly fine, but I can also write it as 4 square root 2 minus 2. All right, so that's my exact answer. That is the length of that curve from 0 to 1.